We all know about the Pokemons and Mario Karts, but let's give someone else a chance to shine in the spotlight. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 underrated 3DS games. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at overlooked 3DS games and ranking them based on how enjoyable they were, as well as how much they've flown under the radar, not gaining the popularity they rightfully deserve. Number 10, Heroes of Ruin. You have answered the call. It is time to prove you are the hero you say you are. For anyone that's a fan of dungeon crawlers, this hidden gem should more than satisfy your need for beating the snot out of hordes of monsters on the go. Drawing inspiration from similar games like Diablo, this action RPG was widely praised for its surprisingly robust selection of characters and addictive gameplay. Furthermore, the game features a bevy of excellent multiplayer modes, taking full advantage of the 3DS's Street Pass technology to create complex and well-integrated online functionality that isn't often seen on a portable gaming device. So, let's recap. Great online multiplayer, solid RPG mechanics, fun combat. Why isn't this popular again? There is strength in numbers. Number 9, Azure Striker Gunvolt. If you're a fan of the classic run-and-gun platforming action of Mega Man, then this homage to that series is a must-play. Gunbolt encourages fast-paced bursts of gaming goodness, with a relentless onslaught of enemies for the player to blast through and challenging areas for them to traverse. The game additionally rewards the player for how quickly they can complete each stage, providing the title with great replay value for those who want to achieve their best possible score. It all comes together as a solid pick-up-and-play experience, one that we can assure you is worth adding to your 3DS collection. <laughs> you get it? Azuri- I'm, so, I'm sorry. Number 8, Mutant Muds. Still want more titles that feel like a throwback to the old days of gaming? Mutant Muds captures the cleverly simple yet challenging gameplay of the NES era for a game that is, if nothing else, just a whole lot of fun, with nothing but a jump button and an attack button to help you tackle the obstacles ahead. What really sets this game apart from other indie platformers on the handheld is how effectively it makes use of the portable's 3D functionality. At multiple points throughout the game, the player is able to bounce between the background and the foreground, adding new layers of depth to the adventure. Literally. Number 7, Codename Steam. Even now, Steam vehicles crowd London's fair streets beyond capacity, which is why we are all looking forward to today's event. From the folks who brought us the Fire Emblem series, Codename Steam was their attempt to launch an all new franchise for Nintendo. But sadly, it didn't take off as they initially hoped. It's puzzling how it didn't resonate with gamers, as the game exhibited a good deal of polish in every aspect of its design. The colorful cell shaded graphics are a joy to look at, and the alternate steampunk inspired history is pretty fun too. On top of this, the hybrid of third person shooting and turn based strategy gameplay makes this an experience unlike anything else on the handheld. Now, fire the mega boilers to maximum pressure and make speed for Washington. Number 6, Mighty Switch Force. <laughs> With its strong emphasis on speed and problem solving, this puzzle platformer is a rush for any gamer who loves having to simultaneously test their reflexes and observation skills. Taking control of a cyborg police officer, the player will need to take full advantage of the many abilities at their disposal, knowing how to properly approach each situation, whether they call for careful jumps or well-timed shots against enemies. Similar to Azure Striker Gunvolt, the gameplay here is also measured on a timer, rewarding players for their performance and opening possibilities for speedrunners to just go nuts. Gotcha! Number 5, Etrian Odyssey 4, Legends of the Titan. The fourth entry of this dungeon crawler RPG series was also the first installment to land on the 3DS, so you'd think that would have opened it up to an even wider audience, right? Sadly, that's not the case, which is a shame considering the amount of quality content here. 
with an epic storyline revolving around a high fantasy setting, rife with interesting characters, and an absolutely gargantuan overworld to explore. This is one odyssey that any fan of the genre, or a good challenge, does not want to miss. Also, just gaze upon the stunning art design. Gaze! Gaze, we say! Ooh, I hate myself for that one. Number 4. Harmonite In the mood for something a little different, Harmonite is an action platformer with a twist. Instead of just jumping and shooting at random, the point here is to instead match up your movements to the musical rhythm provided by the game. It might sound a bit odd at first, but give it a chance and don't be surprised if you catch yourself tapping your feet and jamming away to every well-timed button press. It's a strange mashup, but sometimes the strangest scenarios can give life to the most unexpectedly enjoyable results. Harmonite is proof of that. Number 3. Fantasy Life Video games are already about escaping into a fantasy world, so why not dive into a game specifically designed around that philosophy alone? From the moment you begin, Fantasy Life provides the player with the freedom of choice. The choice to select your class, profession, skills, and so on and so forth. After that's all set up, well, just go and live your fantasy life. Collect resources, plunder for hidden treasures, explore the world, fight monstrous foes, you name it. The sky is the limit. With so much to see and do, the entire world of seemingly endless fun is waiting for you and the tons of other people who apparently missed out on it. Number 2. Box Boy Up for something a tad more intellectually stimulating to stretch those brain muscles? This puzzle platformer tasks the player with controlling QB, a square that has the ability to create multiple connected boxes in order to overcome obstacles and successfully explore environments. As you progress through the game, the stages become increasingly more intricate and complex, demanding that the player rise to the challenge and, ahem, think outside the box in order to crack each puzzle and move forward. Considering its reasonable price point and incredible gameplay depth for such a simple premise, Box Boy is basically a no-brainer, but you'll also need your brain for the puzzles, you know. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Sorry, but I am done with playing the action hero. But why? Because I grew up. Number 1. Shin Megami Tensei 4 While this Atlas RPG series undoubtedly has a very solid base, many would argue that its legion of followers isn't quite legionous enough to do it justice. Featuring an epic plotline about a samurai defending his kingdom from an invasion of hostile demons, a deep and rewarding turn-based combat system, and wonderful musical tracks, it's not hard to figure out why this is a game that more 3DS owners should check out at some point. Plus, it's worth noting that some gamers have argued that Shin Megami Tensei rivals or even exceeds the Pokémon series, another game about battling various monsters in a large world. So, that's saying something, right? Tell me, once more, 